Hello everyone. We all must have been to a circus. Even before entering the circus tent, the huge circular tent with a large canopy amazes us. As we enter the tent, there are so many things happening inside like there was a guy on a unicycle, there are people doing acrobatics using a ring, acts happening on the stage, people using hula hoops and yes, not to miss of course the joker. Today in this session of areas related to circles, we will take you back to the circus store and we will learn few very important concepts using the things that we see in a circus. Work while work, play while play. Today we'll try to break this myth and learn while playing itself. So which was the act that you liked the most? One of the things that amazed me the most was the hula hoop. We all know that hula hoop is a hollow round structure like a ring or in mathematics we can call it as a circle. And in our previous session we learnt that boundary of any circle is known as circumference. And now we will learn how to find out circumference of any circle. We know we can break open a hula hoop and join it back. If we break it open and measure the lengths of the individual part and add them, we will obtain the circumference of the hula hoop. Let's call it as X. When we join it back and measure its diameter, Let's say that it comes to Y. A Greek mathematics teacher, William Jones, in early 18th century, determined that when we divide the circumference with diameter, all the values come to 3.14 or usually approximated to 22 by 7. And this constant is known as pi. So, whenever we see this constant pi, we can immediately relate it to a circle or some other curved shape or surface. Now let's see whether the ratio of circumference to diameter is always 3.14 or not. For that, let's do a simple activity here. We will take few hula hoops of different diameter. We know by breaking them, we can measure its circumference. And here if we take the ratio of circumference to their respective diameter, we are obtaining 3.14 only. You can also try this by yourself for any big or small circle and still you will always get the same answer. Now as we saw that ratio of circumference to diameter is pi, here we can Write it as C is equals to pi D and as we know that diameter is twice of radius. We can even write it as C is equals to 2 pi R. If you noticed one thing, just by knowing the radius or a diameter, we can calculate the circumference of any circle. Now suppose if we join only half of the hula hoop, then its circumference will be pi r, correct? But if we have a look at the huge flag in the circus, which is a semicircle, well then can we use pi r to calculate its boundary? No, we cannot because there is a diameter which is also a part of the boundary now. So to find the complete boundary of the semicircle, we will have to add diameter to pi r. In the circus, we have a stage in the center, which is also circular in shape. Here also we can find its circumference if we know the radius of the stage. But there is a difference between hula hoop and the stage. Hula hoop was a hollow or ring-like structure, but stage is a flat surface having an area enclosed inside the boundary. Let's figure out how we can find the area of the stage by knowing only the radius of the stage. 
Let's divide this stage into various sectors. These sectors look like small triangles and if we rearrange them, we get a shape somewhat like a rectangle. The smaller will be the sectors, the arrangement will look more like a rectangle. We know area of rectangle is length multiplied by breadth. It is visible that the breadth of the rectangle is the radius of the circle whose area we need to calculate. But how do we find the value of the length? If we look closely, then the length is nothing but some part of circumference. So when we compare the length and circumference, we can see that it's half of circumference that is pi r. From this, we can conclude that the area of the stage or circle is equals to the area of rectangle which is equals to pi r square. Using this, we can calculate area of any circle where we know only the radius of the circle. So now we can find the area of the circular stage because its radius is 3.5 meters. So when we put the value of radius, the area of the stage will come to 38.5 meters square. Here we are done with two important formulae which are related to a circle. Let's move ahead and learn few more interesting concepts about a circle. We can see that on this stage, the most loved artist is the Joker. We all have seen a Joker cam. If we see it in 2D or when we draw it on a paper, it will look something like a sector. Now, if we have to find its area, how can we do that? If we draw a circle, its central angle is 360 degree. When we divide it into two parts, we get a semicircle. So its central angle will also get divided into half, that is 180 degree. And when we have a quadrant, its central angle is also one fourth part of 360 degree that is 90 degrees but if we see the gap we do not know what the central angle is because we do not know that exactly what part of the circle the gap is so let's say the central angle of the cap is theta so if we will divide theta by 360 degree we will come to know exactly what part of circle the cap is. Now when we multiply this ratio with the area of a circle, we will come to know that what area of the circle the cap is covering. And as we know that cap is the shape of a sector, using this method we can find out area of any sector of a circle when we know theta and the radius of the circle. Now suppose the central angle of the cap is 60 degrees and radius as 14 centimeter. So the area of the cap or the area of the sector will come to 102.67 centimeter square. But we can also see one more part of circle in the cap. Can you find out what? Yes, we are talking about the base of the cap which is nothing but some part of circumference also known as arc. And now we will try to find the value of the base or arc length. From our previous formula we know that theta by 360 will give us exactly what part of circumference the base is. And then when we multiply it with the length of circumference, that is 2 pi r, this way we can find out the base of the cap as we know that central angle is 60 degrees and radius is 14 centimeter. 
and so the arc length or base of the cap comes to 14.67 cm now here we are done with four formulae related to a circle we will be dealing with one last formula before ending this session which we will derive on our own let me tell you one more formula to find the area of the sector which is half multiplied by arc length multiplied by the radius in few simple steps we will derive this formula from the formula of area of a sector we can see that we need half in our formula so we divide the area of the sector by 2 now since we are dividing it by 2 we will even have to multiply it by 2 Here we can see so many terms we do not have in our formula. But when we rearrange them a bit, we can see what we have is the formula for arc length. And hence, here we can replace this by letter L to represent arc length. And see, we derived our new formula. And using this formula, we can calculate area of a sector when we do not know what theta is and when length of the arc is given before ending this session let me tell you one important thing if you have radius pi and theta you can derive any formula for circle and hence you actually do not have to mug up all the formulae that's all for this session of areas related to a circus oops sorry I mean areas related to a circle. In our next session we will learn how to use these formulae to calculate the area of various shapes which are related to a circle. If you like the video please hit the like button. Do share it with your friends and post your comments. You can watch the entire syllabus of CBSC Math on our YouTube channel. Do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you for watching.